G'day, Greg Sky here. Now, I'm off to McDonald's, so I've got a brand new Big Mac out. A Mac Junior. So how about we go in there and see, well, if it's worth trying and buying or not, or seeing if it's a complete waste of money. Let's go get one. All right, well, here we go, the Mac Junior. This costs $6.75. <laughs> Now that seems pretty expensive because a normal Big Mac is $6.95, another 20 cents more. So you're paying 20 cents less for something that's possibly half the size. <laughs> anyway, let's size it out and see how big this really is. Oh, it comes in its own box. All right, let's have a look. Well, there you have it. So what I'm guessing is this is one beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Well, it's got the sesame seed bun. Oh, it's got their special sauce and some pickles, you ripper. Plenty of lettuce there, a slice of cheese, and a slice of meat with some more of their special sauce. Now, I must say that this piece of meat sort of does look a little bit bigger than the standard Big Mac piece of meat. Hmm, gee. Now I am guessing that this is gonna taste just like a Big Mac. <laughs> Funnily <laughs> enough, let's see if it does. Mm. It most certainly does. And boy, with the amount of sauce on there. Oh, wee. Mate, I'll be sweating that out later. If it was hot enough to sweat. It actually doesn't taste too bad. I'm quite enjoying the flavour of it. It's still, well, obviously a Big Mac. Um, except it's missing a piece of meat and a piece of bread. And, well, maybe a bit less salad or something. What more is there to talk about? It's a... It's a Big Mac tasting Big Mac that's missing a piece of bread and meat. So how about I score it out of 10? Well, value-wise, 675 for this. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. For 20 cents more, I can get a proper Big Mac with two bits of meat on it. Why would you spend 675 on this when you can spend 695 and get the real deal with twice as much meat? It's twice as big. You'd have to be a complete Moron to get this thing, that's for sure. Value-wise, mate, that's zero out of ten. Flavor-wise, though, well, it does taste pretty good. It's, it's nice, it's refreshing. It's not as filling as the bigger one. But, uh, well, you know, tastes like a Big Mac. How does Big Mac taste? Well, it tastes however you want it to taste. Could be rubbish, could be good. In this case, it tastes all right, actually. It tastes pretty good. I'm quite enjoying it. There was lots of sauce on this one, so it is a bit strong in sauce flavor, but... Ah, oh, well, you know, you got to take the bad with the bad sometimes. So for my all-over value, all-over flavour, all-over taste, all-over everything score for the Mac Junior. It's getting a... Three out of ten. You would have to be a complete moron to buy this thing. Why would you spend the same amount to get a smaller burger? This thing should cost like $3.95 or something. The fact that they're charging $6.75 for this just shows how disgraceful some corporations are trying to rip people off. And there's one thing I hate that's getting ripped off. McDonald's, you ripped me off today and you're ripping off millions of Australians who will probably go out and buy this. But hopefully they'll see this video and realise that doing that is probably a really bad mistake. Especially when you're a cheapskate like me. <laughs> so what's my recommendation? Well, I'll tell you what, if you like getting ripped off and, uh, well, you're just a bit clueless, mate, whip on in and grab a Mac Jr. <laughs> you are wasting your time. You might as well just spend another 20 cents and get a proper size one. Or they've even got the big grand Big Mac back out again. Nine dollars something for that one. You might as well get one of those. If you're going to buy this, you must have a couple of screws loose. So if you do do that, serves yourself right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time I eat a burger. 
See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are